probably came from the same home. It's made in Japan. I am so excited for today's video. I have a very big thrift haul and it is something that I look for avidly when I am thrifting and I'm going to take you thrifting with my thrifting group and then I'm going to bring you home and show you everything that I thrifted and such beautiful pieces. Before I share all those fun details, I'm going to talk today just for a few minutes about today's sponsor and Lily Silk reached out to me and I was really excited but the girls I believe were even more excited when they reached out to me. With over 12 years of experience in silk making and designing, Lily Silk has everything you need. Lily Silk provides affordable investment pieces with a wide product range such as glasses, pillowcases, pajamas, scrunchies, and so much more. Another feature about Lily Silk is they are a zero waste company. The fabric remains that are leftovers are used to make scrunchies, pillowcases, pajamas. I want to talk a little bit more about Lily Silk's pillowcases and I feel like it has been an investment piece into our future and to the girls future as well for their skin and hair and we have had these pillowcases for a little over a month and I noticed that sleeping against Lily Silk as opposed to sleeping against a cotton or even a different type of silk that's not chemical and dye free like Lily Silk is I have noticed that my skin and my hair has stayed moisturized, hydrated, and so much more smooth. I have natural curly hair, so my hair has a tendency to be a little bit on the frizzy side sometimes, and sleeping against Lily Silk has kept the moisture in my hair. It's kept the girl's hair tangle-free. It's greatly reduced the frizz and static in their hair. The girls absolutely love it. And I have noticed that you're laying your face against a fabric for seven to eight hours, depending on how much sleep you get. And laying my face against the Lily Silk has kept my skin and the fine lines reduced. I wake up and I feel like my skin is fresh and I literally love that. I feel like it's an investment into my skin and the girl's skin as well. The scrunchies are the same. They keep the static out of their hair and they keep the hair moisturized. So I feel like those are the two major differences that I have noticed sleeping against the silk versus a different type of cotton or fabric. And I think you guys will love that feature as well. Your skin and your hair is going to thank you. We absolutely love it. I love it for my skin. I love it for my hair and the girls as well. Vivian and Violet were so excited to be receiving these silk pillowcases. And they come in this really nice tube for traveling that makes it so convenient. I love how they are 100% mulberry silk. They are Ecotech certified free from all harmful chemicals. The thread count is 400. It has an envelope closure at the side and they don't use any metal in their zipper which is more sustainable. They are also very comfortable and friendly to people with allergies. The one thing I'm really loving about these silk pillowcases for Vivian and Violet, but mainly for Vivian, is her skin as she's growing up and just changing. And I love that it's going to keep the frizz out of our hair. They also love the scrunchies as well, static free, colorful, fun, and beautiful. If you're wanting to order Lily Silk, please check out and use my code or 12% off at checkout for all Lily Silk products. We're gonna style this top two different ways. One more casual, which is more my style, and then a little bit more dressy for a girl's night out or a date night. Valentine's is coming up, so this top would be beautiful in so many different colors as well for Valentine's. I have this paired with a more casual outfit with some Doc Martens. And I love the elegance of the necktie. I feel like this is so fun and so flirty for a date night or a girl's night. I love the fun button detail on the side, which is a super fun pop. And I did a little front tuck, which is how I would pair this with this outfit. 
with a super cute bag. I think this is the perfect date night outfit if you're wanting to go more casual, which is more my style. And I love, love the color. This is a really true likeness of this outfit and so fun. So let's style outfit number two and see which one do you like best. Here is option number two with a little bit more elegance. And there again, you see the beautiful detailed buttons. You have the fun optional necktie. And I paired it with some fun boots for winter transitioning into spring. And I absolutely love it. You guys, look how the cream buttons pop against the cream skirt. And then here you have the more dressy, elegant outfit that you could wear if you were wanting to dress this outfit up a bit. I would probably wear this on a Sunday morning or when I want to dress up for a date night. Super fun, super beautiful. I think my favorite detail are the buttons. Comment below and let me know which outfit you prefer. Now that I'm dressed up, I think I'm leaning towards the fancy one. Super fun. How much is yeah, he? What brand is it? I don't know. Let me see. What does it say? Albina something. You can tell by leather if it's super nice. Is it too? It's folly, huh? No, it's super I'm cute. Not. How much is it? 15 for what? The only one I need is the bottom, uh, the bottom pot. Sarah, do you see these? Cute. They're real copper. Sarah, I don't know if that would work for her. Look how cute. Look at. Okay, feel how heavy he is. Tara, feel how heavy he is. Oh no, hold him from the end. Yeah, it's probably like a real little sausage. It is. Hand. That's neat.
Okay, is this an artichoke or a pineapple? Carrie. You have to bring that for me. Oh, it's adorable. Is this an artichoke or a pineapple? That's the pillow I was telling you about Liz had, and it was absolutely adorable. How much are they? This one's two and this one's one. Aww. What is it? Very cute. You need that for your if table that you need that you need to have soon. It's teapot. Where's oh that's ironstone. Germany. Yep, that's sold. Yeah, it's $7. I feel like it's hard to find round frames like that. It is. Like Probably did. Look at my hair. Oh, I wore it. Has a little yes, stand on it's got it. the stand on it. She found more false scruff. Oh, I, I just got this one at the other thrift store. For two dollars, right? Yeah. Did you look in the books and you just grabbed them? Nancy Joyce. Oh, how cute. Isn't that cute? Did you get all of them? I meant all the old books, I was just mm -hmm. coming. Some of them I put back, but... The Life on the Mississippi, oh, that's cute. I love this. Look at that. Are these? Sorry, you would die. They're so Christmassy. I mean, yeah. cute. I love how thick it is for like pepper or something like you said. I am back and I'm still in my lily silk top and I was done filming and I came out into the living room and Violet was like, mom, I love your shirt. You have to wear it on Sunday. So maybe I'll wear it on Sunday. I have a wonderful thrift haul for you all and I'm just going to jump right on into it. I found and, and also some of the best prices. I found this beautiful ironstone. It has a number 4238 and it says it was made in Japan and absolutely gorgeous, huh? This was $6. I found this beautiful, cute little spoon. It's shaped like this. You guys let me know what this is used for. Is it like a jelly spoon? Is it a soup spoon? I don't know what it is, but it's super cute. It's made in Japan. Darlton, I think it says Darlton. I found this beautiful round picture. It's ready to hang. I just have to take out the picture. I'm going to add a new piece of art in this and I can't remember the price on this, but I wanna say it was like five, between five and $7, so not too expensive. I found this another piece of, I believe it's ironstone. It has a stamp on the bottom and it says something at Co but I paid $1 for this and it's so simple and so cute. This is going, going to go into my future kitchen when I get into that makeover. With the price of everything going up, I want to have about $2,000 more saved for my kitchen makeover than I originally planned because I don't wanna jump into that makeover and then realize everything is more expensive. So I'm trying to think and plan ahead. We are actually working in the hallway right now. This, I believe, is ironstone. It was $1.95, and it has some crazing in the middle of the bowl, but I love that. This would just be cute with little fruit in it as a small serving dish. Super cute, super inexpensive. 
Last but not least, this was somewhere between seven and six dollars. It's Federal Ironstone. It is the same uh, brand or stamp as this teapot, so it probably came from the same home. It's made in Japan. This has the number 4238, and this has the number 4238 as well. And I believe this is probably a casserole dish. Isn't it cute, you guys? I love it. This really speaks Sarah's Future Kitchen Makeover. Simple, white, um, cottagey, but with that really English touch of cottage. All right, I think that is my entire haul. And this is going to be, I think, part one of a part two thrift haul because the vlog was so long, I could not get everything into one vlog. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope the new year is going so well for you. I feel like this was such a fun video to make. I literally love my Lily Silk. I love my top. I love my pillowcases. Well, the girls love the pillowcases. They are actually using them and they love their scrunchies. I think you will love Lily Silk as well. Don't forget to use my code at checkout for 12% off Lily Silk products. And my word, you guys, it's, they're so soft. I love them. All right, it's morning time. It's time for school. The girls just got up, so I'm gonna head on in there and we're gonna get started with homeschool. The girls have piano lessons, so we have a super busy day. And I love each and every one of you. I hope today is beautiful for you and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.